Alrighty guys, if this is your first time watching, please go ahead, smash that subscribe button, and also don't forget to follow us on our Instagram page at Adam Your Dog Trainer. For today's video, we are gonna talk about how to travel with your dog or cat for that matter, either one, and what air pain regulations require. It's very misleading about what the airlines will let you and won't let you do. Also, when it comes to service dogs, there's a very fine line about what's required to be able to travel with your dog. So let's go ahead and dive into the video and I'll see you guys on the other side. Deuces. So when I was at the airport, um, I happened to go to a wedding this past weekend and I was flying and I saw this beautiful English American Bulldog that was just gorgeous puppy. And you know, he was in a bag and I got to play with him. Here's me with that dog and super cute and super lovable. And you know, the mother asked me, um, you know, she had a really tough time getting the proper information from the airlines, what she really needed while she was traveling. So some of the things you gotta look into is you need to contact your local airport and find out what their regulations are for flying with your pet. Even more important, what you could do is take your dog a couple days prior to the airport with the carrier that you expect to use and make sure it's okay for your particular airline because there is no set guidelines. You know, one guideline that we do know is a dog's carrier has to be less than eight and a half inches tall and 18 inches wide because that's the uh, size underneath the seat in front of you. Well, that's a universal thing, but some, some airlines are a little bit different in those sizings. So their seats are a little awkward or they're a little smaller, a little taller, who knows? That's why it's always good to go ahead of time and talk to the gate people and find out at the, the counter there what works best for you and the dog that you have, okay? The other thing you don't wanna do is you don't want to heavily drug your dog. I've had so many people come back from trips and say, oh, my dog was sleeping the whole time and he's just not himself. I don't know what, I'm, what I did wrong. Well, you know what? If you're gonna do that, please consult a vet if you think your dog is gonna have some kind of issues when they're in the air. One thing you also wanna do is make sure you bring treats with you so they can eat something to help pop their ears because they feel that pressure just like we do. And that kind of helps calm them down if they do start to get a little squirmy. Give them a few treats so they can eat something to pop their ears. You know, lastly and most importantly, don't force a dog into a small carrier if it doesn't fit, all right? Um, most planes nowadays, they have the undercarriage, which is totally heated, totally pressurized, totally everything. So there really is no concern. They're actually quiet down there. It's dark, it's safe. Um, they're comfortable in that. That's the kind of environment where they are very used to and adapt to if you do crate training with your dog. It's kind of a, an easy thing. So that might be a, another way of getting your dog to fly with you if you have to. Now, if you have a service dog, service dogs require all sorts of paperwork. So make sure you have your service dog organization where you got your certification from paperwork with you. Also make sure you have your state registry with you. And I would also recommend your canine good citizen and any of the advanced titles you have. This way you have no issues walking through the airport, going through TSA, you know, and a lot of those things, because you will run into other dogs at the airport, especially through TSA. There's always a dog there sniffing for uh, some sort of something, who knows what they're doing, but they're, they're, they are there. So you have to be aware of that. And the one thing you don't want your dog to do is be reactive to those dogs, all right? So any questions, please leave me in the comments below. Let me know how your flights have been with your pet or if you're looking to travel and you have any questions, you know, lastly, have fun with your pets as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces!